Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. Thanks for joining us. Today we're doing our Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2015 Day 1 Pickups video. Yay! Yay! But before we talk about that... Let's talk about this. Look what he did! Woo! Yes, we've got our new uh, shelves, which we're, <laughs> okay. which we're now going to use as our backdrop. This being the beginning of our third year yep. on YouTube, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So sort Marks the yeah marks the uh, uh, anniversary. So we're we're going to use our new backdrop that we got installed just in time. Okay. All right. So we, as I mentioned, we went to the uh, Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, this is the program and our yes and our little badges. We went for the entire weekend. How's yours look? Well, uh, yeah, some of them got some a little of them got thing. like really dinged. I was like real surprised. Uh, anyway, they're they're not as uh, they're not as fancy as they sturdy. were in previous years. Yeah, but. Um, we did have a lot of I uh, have a lot of fun. We met uh, quite a few people, including some Cartridge Club members who came in from Canada. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, we hung out with a yeah. bunch of people. Yeah, it was a long weekend. It yeah, was like it an was extended weekend. From Thursday evening yeah. to Sunday evening. Yeah. And then one day I spent the entire day recovering and yeah. counting all my stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, All right. But not counting any money. <laughs> no, there was no that money was left. Gone. There was <laughs> that no was money left to count. count. <laughs> but uh, we did get a lot of stuff. I had yep. my, my list, you know, my 10 page long list. I printed one out for Melissa. And then here's my Our list. Notes of what on we the back of everything we bought <laughs> as we were doing it. We're very low tech. That's so, okay. um, so, yeah. So let's get right into it, Sounds shall good. we? Okay. So, as usual, I will start with the manuals. Uh, let's see here. Quite a few manuals. All right. First, uh, the older systems. Uh, Star Master for the Atari 2600. I don't have this game. Oh boy. But I've always uh, my friend had it growing up, and I've always desired it. Uh, Hole Position Two for the Atari 7800. I got this with my 7800 earlier this year. Thought I'd grab the manual for it. Moving into NES, we got Ghostbusters. Awesome to have that. Mm -hmm. King's Knight, a game I got earlier this year. Got the manual for it. Kung Fu, another uh, black uh, a black label game that I uh, wanted to get the manual for. And then the Tengen games that I'm collecting. This is for Shinobi. Enjoy playing that. And Star Force. Does this have the same music? I'm not sure. I've played it. I'm not sure if it has the same music. And that's it for NES. Okay, for Super Nintendo. A Nintendo 64, uh, sorry, Super Nintendo console with two mm -hmm. controllers. I have the one controller variant of this manual. Doom 64 for the Nintendo 64. Don't have that game and Quake 1. I do have this game. All right. That's it okay. for manuals, yeah? All right. All right. Cool. And so then while we were there, we bumped into a Twitter person that we follow, mm -hmm. Video Game Porn, who is local. And he had a couple of uh, yeah, items for us and he let us pick those out. And they are these Mario uh, greeting cards. Mine says, Aren't you glad I came to your party? Instead of a tweeter, <laughs> I guess a tweeter is a not a not a good guest to have at a party. Is that and somebody who's on their phone on Twitter yeah. all day? Like they yeah. come to their this party is, and they just go. Up. This is just a guy on his phone yeah. tweeting all day. A tweeter, is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right from Mario. And this one is Princess Peach, and she says, "You are my hero." Awesome. Aww. So, thanks, video game porn, Thank for you. the greeting cards. Mm -hmm. But. In addition to those, he also had some boxed uh, Atari manuals, which I will put in order here. Atari boxes. Atari, what did I say? Manuals. manuals. Atari boxes mm -hmm. that he uh, let me have my pick of. So I grabbed the ones that I'm familiar cool. with from my childhood. I don't normally collect these, but I'm um, kind of getting into it a little bit. Asteroids for the 2600, Circus Atari. This is one of the first games I got. Uh, Combat, of course, it came with our Atari. Missile Command, this is literally the very first game I ever bought with my own money and Pac-Man, and Surround, which oh. I... Do you have it yet? I do have it. Oh. I got it the next day, but I don't okay. have the card, so we'll cool. show it in our next day pickups. So thank you very much for those uh, boxes for the Atari 2600. All right, yeah. what else we get? So moving on with the Atari 2600, I got Grand Prix. Now the story behind this is that David Crane, the author of this game, the programmer, and the programmer of other games like Pitfall, A Boy and His Blonde, and many other games, uh, did a panel and he talked about his pro experience programming this game. And I didn't have it, but soon after, after the panel we went around and I looked for it and was very glad to find a boxed, complete boxed version of it. 
and then I went and tracked David, Mr. Crane, down mm -hmm. and had him sign it, which he was gracious enough to do. So this is really cool. I now have this game plus a signed box. I'm very excited about that. And um, when we found him, he was walking around, and there was a vendor that was wearing a pitfall shirt. So yeah. he stopped and signed, signed his the, shirt. Signed the guy's shirt. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So that that was very nice. Uh, okay, so that's it for 2600. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on to 5200. I grabbed a game called Countermeasure, which I know nothing about, but I will always grab cheap 5200 games that I don't already own. So Countermeasure. Huh. All right. And also Popeye, which is a game I am familiar with, and I've been collecting on various systems because I like to see how different systems of that age translated the games. Mm -hmm. Because unlike today, they were quite a bit different across the different systems. Mm -hmm. And finally, perhaps the most exciting thing I got for my 5200 is the uh, VCS cartridge adapter. This is an adapter that allows you to play Atari 2600 games on your 5200. Uh, it has to be the two port 5200, which is the one that I've got. Cartridge port's up here. Select reset, controllers are in here because the 5200 uses different pins and the difficulty switches are on the side. So, cool. looking forward to trying this out. All right, moving on. Oh, oh, there's this one. Okay, so moving on now to Intellivision. Cool. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I believe this is the first Dungeons Complete. This is the first Dungeons and Dragons game for the Intellivision. I have the other one. Okay. Something about Tarmin. Uh, but, uh, I, so I thought I would grab this one to go along with that. Cool. All right. Uh, you want to talk about this one? Sure. Okay. Well, we looked for TurboGrafx-16 games. Yes, Last always. year you were really, like, I want to get a bunch of Turbo, any TurboGrafx-16 games I can get. Because was that, did you just get yours, like, recently before that? Or it had been about a year and a half, but okay. I decided I was going to go for more TurboGrafx. And we didn't see very many, but yeah. this year we did. It was quite a few. So we got Fantasy Zone. Fantasy Zone, yeah. I bought the mm -hmm. case and manual for that uh, mm -hmm. two years ago at PRG, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for the copy loose. So, um, so yeah, really cool. glad to have that. Now it's complete. And the great Power Golf. <laughs> I just got that because it was cheap. It was super cheap. Yeah, I think I have the other uh, golf game for the Turbo Graphics. Yeah. So I decided to grab Power Golf to cool. go along with it. All right. Great. What else? All right, let's move on to PlayStation then. All right. All right. So this is these, 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 yeah, these, this was on my list. Uh, I have the original Abe's Odyssey, so I thought I should grab Odd World Abe's Exodus, the second game in the series. And there are other games in the series that I will continue to look for. Uh, that's even made it their way onto the Xbox. I think you've been looking for this for a couple of years. I remember yeah. it being on the list. That's private. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. This one. This one was not on the list. But with a name like RPG Maker, <laughs> I, I've heard of this game, and I didn't put it on the list, but I did stumble across it, so I think the price was right. Obviously, this, this isn't the price, but uh, decided to go ahead and grab this. It was in a bundle of a bunch of other games, so we got it for a very good price. And then um, Tenchu 2. I have Tenchu 1. I got Tenchu 2. Uh, I would maybe have preferred this to be Greatest Hits to match the Greatest Hits Tenchu oh, I've got, boy. but I think I'm not going to worry about stuff like that anymore. So got Tenchu 2 to go with my Tenchu 1 for the PlayStation. And moving to PlayStation 2, Ratchet oh, Deadlocked. I've been getting the Ratchet and Clank games, or some of the, I have the main three Greatest Hits versions. Mm -hmm. And so I decided I would get the others. Uh, there's Ratchet Deadlocked, and I think there's Size Matters. That was ported to the PS2. So I went ahead and grabbed this uh, for completeness. And then finally, the PSP, I got Dissidia Final Fantasy. I'm buying this mostly on the fact that it is a Final Fantasy game. Not that I'm necessarily interested in a Final Fantasy fighting game. I do not have the second one of this series, but it is on my list. So I was glad to see this in a non-Greatest Hits package. So definitely, uh, definitely glad to get that. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the non-Nintendo and mm -hmm. non-Sega games. So let's move to Nintendo. All right. You want to do those three? Sure. These three? All right. Yeah. We got a lot of Tengen games. Yeah, I'm collecting the Tengen mm -hmm. unlicensed games, trying to get them all. Ms. Pac-Man. So we got Ms. Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then we got Vindicators. Another mm -hmm. one didn't have, so grab that. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. I think I should. I, I might be. I, I'm hoping I can get that off. A little Magic right. Eraser, man. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Roadrunner. Roadrunner. I don't know anything about these games. They have the gold label. I'm getting it. Yeah, otherwise the labels are good. The labels are in good shape. 
Okay, so then going along with the ten again, unlicensed, we got this one. We got RBI Baseball. The licensed version Ooh. from this, Ten Again. I bet this one's good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so RBI Baseball. I should have said I bet the licensed version is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got Black Label Popeye. Popeye, trying mm -hmm. to get the Black Label games. I've discovered or learned that there are a few uh, very expensive Black Labels, so I might give up on that because mm -hmm. I don't feel like paying for them. <laughs> And, and then, then the best oh, version, oh, best oh, NES game of the day. Look at this. Mega Man 6. Mega Man 6, yeah. It's so pretty in a protective case. Well, that's because it's a desirable <laughs> game. Yeah. I have 2, 3, and 6 now, and I think 1, 4, and 5 are the two mo three most expensive. So I don't know if I'll continue collecting them, but I saw this sitting there. It was in good shape. Again, bundled it with a bunch of stuff. Got the price knocked down a bit. So yeah. grab the Mega Man 6. Bundle it for savings. That's right. <laughs> Bundle your way to savings, right? Yes. Yep. All right. All right. You want to do Super NES? Uh, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. This one is a tongue twister. No. It's Wario's Woods. Yep. Okay. Just it was on my list. It's a Wario mm -hmm. game. I've decided to go ahead and get NES, or excuse me, Super Nintendo games loose. Mm -hmm. They're too expensive to collect in box. Yeah. I put them in game cases. Did you put them in the cases? Yeah. yeah. All right. Easy. Yeah. And everyone's talking about Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Yeah. Decided to pull the trigger on this because mm -hmm. I keep hearing about it. And of course, I would like to get the Genesis version too, which I think is a slightly different game. All right. But that'll like, be uh, complete in box. That one will be complete in box because Genesis games still need to be complete in box for me. All right, and then, and then finally, ooh, Super Nintendo. This one's complete. Yeah, it doesn't have the insert, but the cartridge and the manual are in there. Mortal Kombat. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm partial to Sega, so Mortal Kombat on the Genesis is probably my preferred way to play it. But I always did want to see how it fared on the Super Nintendo, and I do have two and three on the Super Nintendo. So for completeness, mm -hmm. I grabbed Mortal Kombat for the Super Nintendo box. And isn't this censored? Yeah. That's why That's I want to check it out. Compared to the Genesis yeah. version, it's a little bit censored. All right. You want to do that? All right. Uh, Nintendo 64, cool. only just the one. Castlevania. Castlevania 64. Bought the manual for this a little while ago. Finally uh, found a copy. This game I see everywhere, but for some reason it's always messed up. This one's in pretty clean shape, so I grabbed it. I'd like to get Legacy of Darkness. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I ever bite the bullet and get that one. So that's Ooh. it for Nintendo 64. Ooh. GameCube. This one's a pretty good one. I yeah, it's been on my list for a while. Long time. A long time. Ever since it came out. In fact, yeah. I've wanted this. Yeah. And why didn't you get it when it came out? Uh, uh, it required some kind of pre-order or something and yeah. I didn't do those. And okay. Then I couldn't get a hold of it and then uh, I decided I didn't this care. This one like, was crazy expensive at one place. So it is The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Yeah. So I think this is the only Zelda game I'm missing from the GameCube. Uh, no, I'm missing Four Swords. Oh no. So anyway, I do have the other um, Zelda Collector Edition, mm -hmm. but this was the one that I'm more interested in because it has a bigger variety of games. So I was definitely glad to pick this up. It's been on my list, well, since it came out, but mm -hmm. certainly since two years ago when we had to walk away from it at PRGE. Yeah, the, the first we, we couldn't get the guy, uh, we couldn't oh, get the price yeah, down low enough, that's right. so we walked away. And I haven't been able to find it for a good price since. This yeah. is about the price that guy was asking. Mm. So I finally decided after two years that if I can get it for the price he was asking, we'd go ahead and do it. Yeah. So yeah, glad to have that. Yeah. Getting this into is, Zelda games. Yeah. Okay. This is good, yeah. We waited, we saw it in a couple places, and then kept looking around. I was like, wait, let's just wait. And we waited, and then... Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's quickly go through yes. the rest of the Nintendo right, portables. Uh, Wario Land 3. I have Wario Land 1 and 2, and so I think I do. I think they're Game Boy games. Oh, you know. um, but anyway, this again, a Wario game, decided to grab this, I saw it sitting there. It's the only Game Boy game I got, or Game Boy Color. Uh, as far as Game Boy Advance, I couldn't resist the boxed RPG, <laughs> uh, Lunar Legend. Um, I don't know much about this game, but it was complete in box in great shape and it had the name Lunar in it, so I grabbed it. This wasn't really on the list, but uh, this one was Tales of Fantasia. Also, same place, good shape, uh, looked pretty good, so I bundled all of those with some other things and got these for a great price. Love picking up Game Boy Advance Complete. Uh, moving on to Nintendo DS quickly, Bangayo Spirits. I grabbed this solely because I have Bangayo for the Dreamcast and I figured, ah, what the heck. 
You need it's to in, it's, it's in cool shape, and I you know I knew it was out there. I'd like to get the Gunstar. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some kind of Gunstar game for the NDS, or maybe it's the Game Boy Advance, but I don't have. But anyway, Bangayo, and then Nano Stray too. Uh, this looks, this is a vertical. It appears to be a vertical shooter. I, if I'm unless I'm mistaking it with another game, there is a Nano Stray number one, um, and this is in great shape. And when I saw the name Nano Stray, I went ahead and grabbed it. it wasn't on the list. This one was though. Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis. I've been collecting the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games, um, and this was one that I didn't have yet, so I grabbed it. And that was on the list? That was on the list. I wonder what percentage of games were on and not on the list. I think we had a high percentage of games on that. There's only a handful here that weren't on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mm -hmm. move on to Sega. Ooh. And the, the great pickup of the day. This is okay. So this is one. This is one of <laughs> this my favorite the pickups. Pick up for him. <laughs> uh, this is Transbot. Uh, it is not complete. It is just the manual and the and the case, and it was only a dollar. And the reason it is such a great pickup is because I already have the game. I just needed the case uh, as an upgrade. I've got the case. I needed the upgrade, and it turns out I needed the manual too, which is in excellent condition. So for a dollar, I was able to. Complete my copy of Transbot without mm -hmm. having to go online, getting the whole thing, and then flipping the card. Mm -hmm. So that I am very excited about. Less exciting uh, is that I also found a complete copy of Montezuma's Revenge. Now I have seen this in past PRGEs, and my recollection is that it was never complete, or it was in terrible shape. This is both complete and in great shape. The problem is that I just purchased a copy of this off eBay for a bit more money. Yeah. Uh, a few uh, about a month and a half ago that it was also smoke damaged so this is a substantial upgrade and I don't know if I'm going to get my money back on the original one but I am glad to have a now clean odor free copy of Montezuma's Revenge in my Master System collection all right okay. I will do let's do I will do this one all right, go ahead. moving on to Genesis I have Landstalker this was on the list I believe this is a precursor mm -hmm. to the Alundra game series uh, on the PlayStation. So uh, I always wanted to go back and check out Landstalker to see what that was like. And when I saw it there and the condition it was in, I went ahead and grabbed it. Very happy about that. Okay. We can talk about that. This is, we found this table with this guy um, who I had heard, he was talking to somebody else, saying that he's actually getting rid of um, his collection, a lot of his stuff from his collection. I think oh, somebody yeah. was trying to do a trade. Yeah. You know, He's like, no, I'm actually getting rid of a bunch of my stuff. So he had some really good stuff and some really good prices. And so we got this boxed X-Men 2 Clone Wars. And it's the shiny box. Yeah, there was another box mm -hmm. that wasn't shiny. This one has some kind of silver yeah. foil in it. It's fancy. But it is in a cardboard box, so I'm yes. going to have to make a reproduction I know. and it won't be shiny anymore. I know. But I'll go ahead and put this in a nice <laughs> box protector, which I think I've already done. I think it's in a box protector. Oh, it, yeah, you did. So, <laughs> so yeah, glad to have that to complete the X-Men, uh, the two X-Men yeah. games I've got for the uh, the Genesis. So, okay. and then go ahead. I'll Dreamcast, do this. Dreamcast, yeah, that's, that's just All right, this is just a in, random. Impulse. Yep. This was not on the list. No. Dreamcast Vanishing Point. Vanishing point, yeah. It was just, it looks good. They, mm -hmm. You know, they put these games in brand new CD cases and I can't resist. It's like, ooh, shiny new Dreamcast game. <laughs> but no, I, whatever. You know, I've been picking up Dreamcast sparkly. games when I come across them. Yeah, it's happened to me before. <laughs> I pick up sparkly Dreamcast yeah. games. Okay, right, but more exciting than that are the next two. Okay. Uh, why don't you do this one? All and right. I'll do the next one. All right. This is Sega Saturn. Ooh, Sega Always Saturn. excited to pick up mm -hmm. Sega Saturn games. Earthworm Jim 2. Especially when they're good ones, Not like Earthworm Jim 2. This is a good game, plus it's boxed and it has a manual, so. Yep, yep. really to happy to see this. The mm -hmm. price was uh, very reasonable. Was this I think this year too, right? I think it was. It was by the same guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. So he had good awesome prices table. and good items, and yeah. uh, I thought the price on this was very, mm -hmm. very good. And I, I never thought I would get this game. It's not expensive, but it's more more expensive than my interest in Earthworm Jim is. Mm -hmm. So. Because I, I think I have this, I think I have, I'm not sure if I have this already for the Genesis. But anyway, glad to have, it's over there, glad to have Earthworm Jim 2 for the Sega Saturn. And in addition to that, I am also glad to get X-Men, Children of the Atom. This is one of two X-Men games I've been looking for on the Sega Saturn for quite some time. Uh, I understand these are quite good fighting games. Uh, is that right? It looks like a fighting game. Mm -hmm. So, um, been very, uh, been definitely on the lookout for this, and when I saw it there, I grabbed it pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. In fact, this was one of the first games we bought on the first day. Yeah. 
when it was one of the first things we saw. So, very excited to have X-Men on the Saturn. Two great Saturn pickups. Alright. But, they were not, they are close, but they are oh, not the two best okay. pickups of the day. Mm. So I will do mine first. Okay, you do yours first. This is a game that I, I, I am interested in because it was, a, it, was, it was never officially released. It was only available to subscribers of the Sega Channel Network. Mm. But apparently people have gotten hold of the ROM and started burning it to cartridges and making reproductions of it. And that is Mega Man The Wily Wars. This is apparently a conversion of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 for the Sega Genesis. That includes save states. And our friend uh -huh. from Portland and, and YouTube and Twitter, uh -huh. Dr. Nintendo, uh, created Nintendo this. Doctor. Nintendo Doctor. Darkness. I call him Darkness, sorry. Yeah. Uh, created this cartridge for the. He uh -huh. was selling these at the uh -huh. conference and uh, at the expo, and I was able to pick up a copy. Yep. So very excited to try this reproduction of Mega Man Wild Wars out. Plus, it's like unique because it. It's without box and manual. It's a Genesis game you bought. Oh, box and yeah, manual. it's one of my. I have two loose Genesis games. This one and Spider Man. But I will create a yes. box for this. In fact, I bought some loot uh, boxes, Genesis boxes. That's right. You I did. will now put that yes. in. And All right, you... and this. Woo, this was my one pickup that I was looking for. Rocket Knight Adventures. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very... It's in excellent shape. It's like in really good shape. Really good shape. Really good shape. And it was an awesome price. Price was incredible. Incredible. It's from that same vendor. So uh, we really looked out and I found it. I found it like early in the day too. Yeah. So that was really, really exciting. That. This is an old Cartridge Club game that we didn't get to play yeah. at the time. And now we are going to go back and yep. maybe play, play it. We'll play yeah. it. We yeah. don't know if we'll play through it. Yeah. So it's so, so exciting. Yeah. She's very excited. Got her, uh, got her one item. Yeah. Yep. So they could was the first year too, you know. So yeah. And I was looking for something. So. so that's that is it for our day one pickups. Lots of good stuff. Uh, pretty much wiped out the budget, turns out. Uh -huh. uh, which we can talk about <laughs> on day two. So we'll see what oh, we picked boy. up on day two. But the budget got wiped out a bit here uh, by buying some of these very high quality and therefore expensive uh, games. But really happy with the pickups we got. Uh -huh. So that's it. So we'll be doing a part two. Okay. So join us that for that. Good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.